to Hale's World and this is the beautiful Fitbit Lux. It has some great features, so let's take a look at what you get in the box. Here's what the box looks like. It's super light and they kept things very minimal with the Fitbit Lux. It's really great to see absolutely no plastic is used in their packaging. And so what you get is an extra large strap in case you need to make your watch a bit bigger. You also get the charging cable with a magnetic attachment, the product information guide, quick start guide and warranty. Then finally, the beautiful Fitbit Lux. And once again, all of that packaged in this pretty compact box. So the one thing I really love about this watch is the slim design. I mean, it looks really good, especially when you compare it to Fitbit's other fitness trackers. It's made from a stainless steel casing, it has a really comfortable silicone band, and of course, a full color touchscreen. I personally love the look of this watch, and aside from the stainless steel finish, you also get a black or gold one. At the back, you'll also find your heart rate monitor, as well as infrared sensors and the charging points. Also keep in mind, Fitbit watches work with both Android and iPhone phones, so regardless of which you have, this watch will work perfectly for you. I also love that the watch straps are interchangeable on the Fitbit Lux. It is a little bit difficult, but overall not too bad, and all you need to do is pull that clip towards you. It is very rigid, but once you've unclipped it, you can simply pull the watch band away. So just take your time and be patient so as not to break it, and the exact same on the opposite side to remove the top strap. This is basically the entire Fitbit Lux, and on their website they have a bunch of different accessories and straps you can choose from. So so no matter what your style, you're bound to find something you like. And to put the straps back on, you literally just clip them into place and that's it. It's definitely much easier putting the straps on than taking them off. Now onto the display and as mentioned, it does have a full colored touchscreen. It looks super vibrant, colorful and also the responsiveness is not too bad. I did also find the display was really nice and bright. So no matter what the lighting conditions, whether it's indoors or outdoors, you'll definitely always be able to see the screen. And although the display itself is really nice, it is just so small. The glass is much bigger than the display and the chin and forehead bezels are massive. You can see exactly what I mean right over here where the display is just so much smaller than the actual watch face itself. I really do wish they had made the screen size much bigger but nonetheless it does still look good and if you head on over to settings you can choose from a couple of different display options like the brightness where you can toggle between dim, normal or max. You can also decide on the screen wake option as well as your screen timeout option. Overall the display is very nice especially compared to like the charge for, I do just wish it was a bit bigger. Onto some top features and the Fitbit Lux was definitely designed for health and fitness. So in the Fitbit application, if you scroll down on the main dashboard, you'll see this option that says health metrics. And in here, the Fitbit actually measures your breathing rate, your heart rate variability, as well as your skin temperature throughout the night. You can also get health and wellness reminders just by heading to this section and then of course toggling on each one of the reminders. So whether it's being hydrated, mindfulness or washing your hands, you can do it all over here. You can also answer or decline calls on your watch then take it on your phone, but just keep in mind you cannot speak through the watch or dial anyone. You do also get access to basic notifications like SMSs, WhatsApp, emails, but again just keep in mind you cannot respond or reply to any of these messages on the watch. And then another awesome top feature are the various exercise modes you get. There are 20 different ones to choose from and you can add the shortcuts to your watch just by heading into settings. Once you've done that, it's on your watch and you can easily access it. And those are just some of the coolest features. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, then hit that subscribe button because we're on the road to 1 million and if you subbed, I mean, that would be... Now onto some good old standard features and on the Fitbit Lux you can change the clock face. There are only a couple of clock faces to choose from but nonetheless there are some awesome options and once you've spotted one you want just go ahead tap on it then hit that select button and the clock face will start installing on your watch. Here's a closer look at some of the various options so depending on your style I'm pretty much sure you'll definitely find one you love. Aside from this watch being a fitness tracker, it is also definitely a stress management tool. So within the menu, you'll still find the relax application that allows you to just calm your breathing within the moment and you follow a simple inhale and exhale exercise. After that, it gives you all the metrics which are also stored in the Fitbit application and it logs the amount of mindful minutes you've had. 
There is also a really quick and nifty countdown timer where you can select not only the amount of minutes you want, but also seconds. And when you're done, you simply tap the screen, this little play button appears and your timer will begin. Once your timer is up, your watch will start vibrating to alert you. And to turn it off, you just simply swipe that X up. Then if you swipe up from the home screen, you can see all your daily health metrics like your steps, calories burnt, heart rate, sleep score, and even exercise. So for a tracker type smartwatch, it is packed with some great features, but if you compare it to other Fitbit smartwatches or trackers, it is missing some features. So first of all, it does not have GPS built into the watch. If you do an exercise like running or walking, for example, your watch will try to connect to your phone's GPS and once it has done that, then you can see much more accurate metrics as well as the map of where you ran or walked. It also does not have the option for NFC payments. So if you need to make any payments when out and about, you will need your wallet. Then we're also missing the always on display mode. So your watch will either be on or off and there's no in between. But probably the worst missing feature that would have been great on the Lux is there is no music connection, no music app, no music controls. I definitely feel like this was a massive missed opportunity, especially because this is a fitness tracking watch. So you're going to be using it when exercising and the music controls would have just been so much nicer to have. So definitely keep this one in mind when considering the Fitbit Lux. Now let's chat about the size of this watch and for comparison on the left hand side is the Fitbit Charge 4 and on the right hand side is the Fitbit Versa 3. As you can see it is much smaller than the other watches and dimension wise it is roughly 34 millimeters long, roughly one centimeter thick and the display is only 16 millimeters long. And again just for reference so you guys can see this is what the watch looks like on my wrist and I do have pretty small wrists. So it is a really nice slim fashionable design that is pretty much good for any wrist size, but I do wish the display was bigger. Now I'm not gonna lie, this is definitely a big perk to the watch and that is the battery can last for up to five days. This is what the charging cable and charging dock looks like. It's super duper simple and is also magnetized. So you simply clip the watch into place, it magnetizes to the charger and you're good to go. Charging also doesn't take very long at all and I must admit, I much prefer this charger compared to previous Fitbit ones. So guys, that is it for the beautiful Fitbit Lux. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe or you can check out some of my other videos right over here. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!